I totally get that some people do not see the truth, right? So like I, I started at the outside of our conversation, so many people say, why don't they get it? Well, the fundamental answer to that question is because God, for whatever reason in his providential plan, did not give the grace for the mind to see the truth. Because that I currently can see the truth to these things or that you can see the truth is in virtue of the grace that God has given us to enlighten the mind, to empower the will, to pursue, right? But even in the pursuit itself, sometimes God, in, for whatever reason, permits the mind to fall short of seeing the truth. Mm -hmm. So that whenever the mind does see the truth, it's the grace of God that he's given the mind that light to see the truth. So I'm very, I'm very understanding of people who do not at whatever point in their journey of knowledge, do not see that truth for whatever reason in God's providential plan, he has not given that light. Our role is to respond to God's grace in our life to do what we can to share what we know that could possibly either be a cause of that person seeing the truth right then and there in cooperation or collaboration with the grace that God is going to give. So God's grace is moving me to share the information. God's grace also being given to the person to whom I'm speaking to enlighten the mind, to see the truth, mm -hmm. or perhaps God is moving me by grace to share the truth and articulate the truth in a way that might not necessarily cause them to see the truth by God's grace here and now, but actually prepare them to see the truth at some other point in their journey of knowledge when God wills to give the grace for the mind to see the truth. Because Tom, I don't know about you, but in my own experience, brother, there are some things that you know, I know now and I did not know in the past. But at the same time, it is also true that there are some things that I only know now, that I know now only because of certain seeds that were planted along the path and the journey of knowledge prior to. That I wouldn't have the knowledge I have now without those proper seeds planted, predisposing me and preparing me to see the truth now. And so I think that's sort of the mentality and the mindset that we have to have when we're engaging in conversations with folks. It's ultimately up to God whether he's going to give the grace for the mind to see the truth now, right then and there, or if God is just simply giving him graces to prepare the mind to see the truth at some other point in the journey of knowledge. And whenever we do our part and we share the knowledge, we can simply step back and say, God, <laughs> the rest is yours, baby. It's up to you. It's your business now, right? And of course, we cooperate through prayer, et cetera, but ultimately it's up to him. I love that. Kyle, it's a great answer. I love that metaphor, uh, the scriptural metaphor, sowing seeds, right? Meeting the Protestant yeah. response, my brothers and sisters, it's a great book. It'll help you be equipped to sow seeds into the uh, into those dialogues that you're having with folks who are searching for an understanding of the faith, who are attempting to maybe weaken their their approach to the Catholic faith or attack the scriptural relationship to uh, the teachings of the church. Meeting the Protestant Response, a wonderful book to help you with that. Again, if you're interested in Carlo, to learn more about him, his articles, audio, video, et cetera, carlobroussard.com, carlobroussard.com. 